Hi everyone. Today I'll show you some examples of uh, order of operations, how how this rule PEMDAS is applied. Okay. So first, the order of operations is a rule that tells us the correct sequence of steps for evaluating a mathematical mathematical expression. So we have this acronym PEMDAS, in which P uh, stands for Parentheses. Now, parentheses could be this uh, typical parentheses symbol or sometimes bracket or braces. So any of, any of these three grouping symbols can be represented by this P, which is parentheses. And then E means exponent, exponent, and then <clears throat> MD from left to right is multiplication and division. So we perform, if they are on the same level, we do left to right. Same with addition and subtraction. Okay. They are of equal importance or precedence. So this is the correct sequence of steps for evaluating mathematical expression. Okay, so let's jump right into the example one say we're asked to evaluate four times two okay divided by four times two okay remember the order pemdas okay the operations that we see here are division and multiplication and we see this uh, parentheses in this expression okay um, to clarify we, we call it parentheses if there's some some mathematical work that we need to do inside the parentheses in each of these parentheses not, notice that there's really nothing else we need to do or perform okay so we're not going to call it parentheses. Instead, this parentheses is going to represent the operation multiplication. Okay, so we're not going to call it P. This performs an operation multiplication instead. Okay, so there's no P in this mathematical expression. Now, if you're going to rewrite this, instead of using parentheses, because the parentheses again stands for multiplication. So instead, we're going to use the regular standard multiplication symbol. Okay. So this is the same as 4 times 2 divided by 4 times 2. Now, the order here says multiply, divide, but has to be performed from left to right. Okay. Because multiply and divide are of equal importance. If they both show up in this expression, then you have to do left to right. Now, the first operation you see here is multiplication. So that's the first thing you have to perform. 4 times 2 is 8. And then we can just copy the rest. So divided by 4 times 2. Now, the next operation is division. So that's what you should do next. 4 divided by 4 is 2 and then times two is equal to four. Four is the final answer. It's not gonna be one because we have to do follow this order of operation. That's the correct sequence of steps. Okay, so the answer is four, it's not one. <clears throat> okay, example two, four times two, divided by four times two. Again, in PEMDAS, so this bracket here means parentheses, that's the grouping symbol, okay? So P here represents grouping, and I'm gonna call it grouping symbol because there's really something we have to perform inside this grouping symbol and that is you have to multiply the four and two okay so it's gonna be eight so we're gonna call it parentheses 
divided by, okay, so we're not going to do division yet because this PEMDAS says, okay, you have to perform parentheses. If there's any arithmetic that needs to be done, you have to do it first, which is 4 times 2 here. So we're going to perform that. And then we're going to do the division last. So that's 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Okay. Number 3. Let's say you have 6 divided by 2, parenthesis 1 plus 2. Okay, so I'm going to write down the sequence of steps here again, PEMDAS. Okay, so what, what do we see here? We see division, okay? We also see multiplication. This is multiplication. Now, there's a parenthesis here, okay? Because there's something that we have to do inside the parenthesis, so there's a P. So we have multiplication, we have division, and then parenthesis. So that means in the sequence, we have to perform the parenthesis first, okay? When I say perform the parenthesis first, that's the only thing you have to do, okay? So the rest, you just copy it. 6 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2, which is 3, okay? So perform the parenthesis arithmetic first. Now that we're done with the P, okay, uh, examine again the operations left. There's division and multiplication. Now, when again division and multiply appear on the same level, you have to do left to right. Okay. So, whichever comes first. In this case, you have to do division first. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then times 3 will give us this final answer 9. Okay. So, let's see example number 4. Now, how about 9 minus 3 divided by 1 third plus 1? Okay, so we have division, I see subtraction, and addition, okay? So in the PEMDAS, we have division, addition, and subtraction. So notice that in this acronym, we have to do division first. And then we're going to do the addition and subtraction last. Okay, so that means we have to do this 3 divided by 3, I mean 3 divided by 1 third first. Now in division of fractions, the rule is you change the division to multiplication. Okay, so that's what you do. You change the division sign to multiplication and then you invert one-third. So one-third, its reciprocal is 3 over 1. Okay, so that's the rule in division of fractions. Copy the first number, change the division to multiply, and then you invert or you get the reciprocal of that second number, which is one-third. Now it's 3, 1. So how do you multiply two fractions? This 3 is understood to be 3 over 1. So it's just a straightforward top to top. That's a 9. And then 1 times 1 is a 1. All right. So that's 9 over 1. So let me clear this. So let me just clear this one here. Okay, so we have this 3 divided by 1 third, which is a 9. Okay, so I'm just going to give myself some space to write on. Okay. So let, let me rewrite this. It's 9 minus... Now, 3 divided by 1 third is a 9, and then plus 1. 
Now, in the PEMDAS, okay, between addition and subtraction, if they are on the same level, you have to do left to right, okay? They are of uh, equal importance or precedence. So, whichever comes first, 9 minus 9 is 0. Now, you do the 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, okay? So, fine is, one, one is the final answer for number 4. Okay, let's go to the last example, number 5. Okay, say what is one half of ten plus ten? Now, one half of ten plus ten, if you're going to rewrite this, this of is going to be translated as multiplication. So what one half times ten and then plus 10. Okay, PEM does again. Between multiplication, okay, and addition, we have to perform multiplication first. So this has to be done first. What is one half of 10? Now, one half of 10 is one half times 10, and 10 means 10 over one, so just do Straight across, that's 1 times 10 is 10. Over 2 times 1 is 2, okay? Which is 5. So this part right here is a 5. Now you add 10, it will give you 15, okay? Um, let's, let me show you before we cut this video off, okay? Let's say instead of 1 half of 10 plus 10, I instead uh, enclose the 10 plus 10, okay? So this one, what we did is multiply 1 half times 10, which is a 5 plus 10 is 15. Now the difference between this example 5, okay? I'm going to make it number 6. If I enclose 10 and 10, that's now the parentheses in the PEMDAS, meaning this is the first top priority that we have to, to perform. That means before you multiply, make sure you do that, this 10 plus 10, which is 20. Okay? And now it's 20 over 1. So just do multiplication of fractions, which is 20 over 2. Okay? Which is a 10. I hope this helped. And thanks, thanks so much for watching. Okay? I'll see you next time.